Hi, welcome to Manifesting Mondays, and I have three powerful tips that will help you manifest the life of your dreams. Before I give it to you, though, make sure, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button, okay? So more people can just see this wonderful video and get what they want out of life, too, all right? So, tip number one, identify what it is you really want. Now, if I ask you that question, what, what are you saying? $5 million, $10 million, an abundance of money, unlimited income, right? Okay. Well, let me rephrase that question. What do you want from that money? What do you want to buy with that money? Well, I want to, you know, pay off all my debt. I want to not ever have to work again for anybody in my life. I want to buy my mom her dream house and buy myself a dream house. And I also want to, you know, buy my dream car. I want to be able to vacation any time of the year at will at my leisure, I just want financial freedom. Okay, so now that we have identified what you really want, leads us to tip number two, all right? Stay in your lane, stay in your desire. The mistake that people often make is, they say, well, I'm not gonna just visualize a home because what I really want is about $5 million. And if I only visualize a home, then I'm not going to get the $5 million that I want. Doesn't make sense, people. You will get exactly what you want, okay, if you do it effectively, right? So what you have to do is you have to stay in your desire. Understand this. <clears throat> Money is an energy. It's a correspondent component. It needs a reason to come. How, what's the best way to call to call money to you? By staying in your desire. The desire is the symbol of the cash that you want. And the money will be drawn to it to fulfill that thing. Right? You have lived long enough to have accumulated so many desires. You already had so many seeds that you have already planted. That's waiting to sprout. You're keeping yourself from it through thoughts of lack. And keep uncovering that. Right, and, and, and taking your mind off of your real desire and putting it on money. Let me just explain something to you. It's hard as hell, okay, to visualize money that you've never seen in your life. It's hard to visualize five and 10 and 50, a hundred million dollars. And it's even harder to get it if you don't even believe that that kind of money can, can just pop up in your bank account tomorrow, right? You can't do that. It's hard to try to visualize and see what that kind of money looked like, even to telepathically project it into your bank account every day. That still takes a lot of effort. And when you're implying a bunch of effort that's going against the grain, it's going in the wrong way. You have to go with what feels good. And what feels good is already looking at that dream car, driving it. Why? Because you, you've already been impregn impregnated with what that dream car looked like. That image is already there. It's easy to see yourself in that car. It's easy to see yourself in that dream house. Because you already know what a $5 million home look like. You already know what a $2 million home look like. Those images come easy because they are already impregnated into your mind, right? When you're trying to visualize money, money that you've never had, it doesn't manifest. Why? Because that lack, that lack that you have experienced with your whole life, that lack of you struggling and never being, being able to obtain what you really want, that lack is what will tear down that seed of desire and recreate more lack. Why? Because that lack is more it had has more emotion attached to it because you because that's been your experiences all this time. You don't have experience with that kind of cash. So I always try to teach people how to manipulate that energy and try to go with the flow of what they really want, right? And how do you do that? You stay in your lane. You stay in that house. You walk into that dream home when you can. Fill your Feel the handle, the doorknob of that of, of that dream home. When you get inside, kick off your shoes. Walk on the floor of that dream home, the, the floor that you want. Okay, go into your big dream kitchen. Feel the surfaces of that big island. Go into that stainless steel big refrigerator that you've always dreamed of. Know what that handle feels like. Feeling is the secret. Feeling is the secret. Money is a corresponding component. All right? It's going to come when it's called properly, all right? When it has a reason to come, all right? You have to just go with what's easy. You cannot go with what's hard, all right? And going with just cash is hard. 
for the average working person that's been struggling their whole life, right? Stay in your desire, all right? The third thing is, is that you have to let it go. You have to know when to let it go. Letting go, I don't mean just forget about it because if visualizing comes easy and naturally to you, then you stay <laughs> and you continue to visualize. What I mean by that is that you have to be grateful for where you are right now. If you're not happy with where you are right now, you're going to create more lack in your life. Why? Because you not being satisfied right here, right now, okay, shows discontent. It expresses discontent. And when you're discontent, you're not happy. And when you're not happy, you're not in the right frequency to even put yourself in the energy of money. Money, the energy of money is freedom. You have to experience freedom now with the little freedoms that you have. You know, with the little freedoms that you have, you go into stores that you actually could afford to buy stuff. So that way you won't want anything that you really can't afford. You try to stay in the frequency of, of, of your budget of what you have right now because that makes you feel fulfilled. It doesn't give you a feeling of lack. And then that money for all those desires that you, that you have already impregnated yourself with will come. You just have to keep yourself in the feeling of it by knowing what you could afford now buying what you could afford now and be happy and grateful about it and being okay with where you are right now. So those are my three tips. Thank you for joining me on Manifesting Mondays. I will see you next Monday for some more manifesting tips.